I'm 3D Luke and I had to see if this airless basketball actually works. I printed in PLA and I printed at half size so it could finish overnight. Once I test this, then I can figure out which filament I'll use to print the full size. It came out looking great, but now it's time to remove the supports at the bottom, which was way harder than I thought it was going to be. It took about 30 minutes and I messed up one of my nails. Like the support material was in there. And then I took some sandpaper to sand it down. And here's what it looks like compared to a mini basketball. And now we'll go to the gym to test how it bounces, shoots, and if I can dunk it. First impressions were really good. It popped off the floor, it bounced really well. And this is a drop test with a real basketball. The bounces were honestly really similar. I don't know if it's because I printed it in half size or if it was the PLA, but I've heard full size TPU balls have a hard time bouncing. So now for the part that I was thinking about all last night, I was like, can I even do this? The doubt didn't help, so I just did it. Now let's see how it shoots. It's really hard to explain, but it just feels normal. Like, you know it's lighter, but I'm doing the same shooting form. And at this point, I'm kind of forgetting it's a 3D printed ball that can break. So I'm using it like a normal ball until it went flat and it cracked. So now I have a few options on what material I want to print with going forward. Right now it's between PETG, I'm hesitant on TPU, and I'm leaning towards PLA carbon fiber or PETG carbon fiber, all of which I do have. So if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments about the supports, anything. Um, but yeah, I had fun making this video and I'm gonna try to dunk the full size ball when I print it.